Hi, Dr. Dave. Thank you very much for taking this time to speak with us. Would you please give us a little description about yourself and what you do here at Durden's? Uh, good morning. I'm Dr. Dave and I'm the cardiac surgeon here at Durden's. I've been here since uh, 2004. And uh, I have over 30 years of experience in cardiac surgery. And even in Durden's, I have performed over 10,000 major cardiac operations. What is your speciality here at Durden's? Uh, we do all kinds of uh, the adult type of cardiac surgery sur operations. The main one, of course, is the bypass surgery. And here we specialize in using arterial grafts for bypass surgery. And we also specializing in beating heart surgery. So that means we are going to get that will translate into good long term results. What usually causes someone to have to have a bypass surgery? Uh, usually people get blockages due to several risk factors. And uh, the risk factors are diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, a not so healthy diet, and most important, uh, hereditary. Normally, how long does a bypass surgery take? Uh, well, the whole thing takes about four or five hours. The surgery itself is only about two, two and a half hours, but there are a lot of preparations, anesthesia, various things. So the whole process is about four or five hours. Is it a relatively safe procedure? Yes, it's very safe. The risk of a surgery nowadays is 1%. Can you sort of describe the recovery process, how it happens? Usually we admit the patient one day before surgery and the following day will be the surgery. By the evening, the patient is awake and by next day morning, he may be sitting up and having his food. By the first day evening, sometimes they are sitting out of bed. And certainly by the second day, people are walking about. We have a system in which they stay in the ICU for three days. After that, they go to the room where they mobilize and they climb the steps. And everybody is ready to go home by the fifth or sixth day. What can you expect to feel when you wake up from the surgery? Like a lot of pain or delirium? Maybe you're disoriented or is it you wake up and you feel fine? Uh, actually, it's not as bad as people think it's going to be. When you wake up, you may have a, a tube going into the throat, but it will quickly be removed. After that, it's quite easy and the pain is never as bad as uh, people expect. After surgery, is there a lot of scarring or like uh, damage? The uh, standard incision, of course, uh, is, uh, is, a, is a line down the chest. And there are some methods to try and minimize the scarring. Of course, the best method of uh, reducing the scarring is to do keyhole surgery, which, of course, is uh, not possible in everybody. But the, those who are suitable, they will benefit from a keyhole surgery. So you've spoken about uh, recovery from surgery in the, in, in the short term. What should be done in the long term and how does Durden's get involved in that? Uh, in Durden's, we are really focused on doing uh, surgery in such a way that the patient has a very good long term result. Uh, for example, we do beating heart surgery. Uh, number two, uh, we do uh, bypasses with arterial grafts. Even the way we take a vein for the surgery is uh, has been statistically shown to have very good long-term results. And there are many other things as well. For example, we have a protocol of minimizing or completely avoiding blood transfusions. All these uh, steps one by one, uh, you know, will translate into much better long-term results. So we, we really want a person to be free of hospital for a long time. So after uh, some surgeries, after you, even after you recover, you feel worse. Will you feel better after bypass surgery? Yes, uh, provided you give a short gap of about two or two to three weeks, you should be able to do more work and uh, more efficiently than you were doing before. In fact, one of our patients after two months has gone to the Everest Base Camp. Will a person need a caretaker after they recover, they leave, you know, in order to recover uh, when they leave the hospital? Usually, family members are in more than enough to do uh, the daily care. In, uh, in the event that there is not any uh, suitable person, I think the Durden's home care will, will take care of that. When can you start to uh, socialize with friends and you know, get back to your normal routine? We usually ask patients to stay at home for about the first two to three weeks. And uh, we like to minimize visitors to prevent infection for a couple of weeks. 
but after that we encourage everybody to go out and uh, meet a few uh, friends and um, of course you can socialize but we always um, uh, we advise about the diet and avoidance of smoking including passive smoking alcohol we don't really mind but we prefer it to be kept to a small amount occasionally after surgery are there any symptoms to look out for any sort of danger symptoms uh, usually there's nothing no problematic uh, issues but if somebody has a fever above 100 or if they get unusual pain or something like dizziness or uh, any other uh, symptoms like a cough then we ask them to get back to us Uh, we always in touch over the phone and WhatsApp nowadays. Can you engage in sexual activity afterwards? Yes, we generally feel that it's better to give a gap of about four to six weeks, after which it's quite safe. So, how does diabetes affect you after a bypass? Are there any increased risks if you are diabetic? If your diabetes is controlled, actually, I I think it has very little effect. But if it is not controlled. then you are prone to wound infection wound healing problems and so many you are prone to you know other complications like renal failure and there is other things so it all depends on whether the diabetes is controlled or not do you have to restrict uh, your food after bypass surgery yes every patient is counseled by a dietitian before going home and we advise a low fat healthy diet which includes lot of uh, vegetables and Uh, more of vegetarian kind of thing and to avoid red meat in particular can you do any sort of exercise after surgery is it advised or well, actually some exercise is mandatory and we uh, the physiotherapist advises everybody what to do and basically we want everybody to walk and do increase it every day and gradually build up to levels that were more than what they were doing before the surgery So cardiothoracic surgery is a very highly skilled field for a doctor what made you feel that you should get into that I think some people some doctors like surgery so I think I'm one of them but I think the thing that really attracts about cardiac surgery is they're doing something that will really help patients in the important years of life and it will not only prolong their life it will uh, make them more useful to the family to the society and to themselves so uh, that's what really you know if you help somebody out to live a better life nothing like it what can you say about uh, durden's heart center um, it must be one of the only places in sri lanka that actually do this type of surgery actually durden has been performing heart surgery for well over 20 years and over the years the the type of surgeries have evolved now we do Uh, beating heart surgery with arterial grafts which last people a long time we have now started keyhole surgeries and uh, uh, every month we do uh, expand we expand the pool of patients who are suitable for keyhole surgery we do a lot of uh, difficult and complicated cases which uh, would otherwise uh, be in trouble so i think over the years durden's heart center has not only got good equipment but we have got the experience to deal with difficult cases and our uh, results are uh, have been audited and found to be very good do you have any final thoughts on uh, what it is you do so just to say that uh, i think when people think about cardiac surgery they get upset they get scared they are not sure what or whether they're going to survive the whole thing in truth you know it's really not so as bad as it is and it's quite common it's uh, not very risky and it will help you live a better life so i think you need not you know, be very scared about it that's what i would like to say so thank you very much doctor for your time and uh, i will let you continue your good work thank you